Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 21, 2019. So, hey, we have some bullish action here this morning. Um, overnight, we had the U.S. made a, a revision, a change in the technology ban, allowing some uh, companies to um, re-engage uh, uh, business and relieving some of the pressure on some of the technology issues. So um, let's take a look at the diamonds here first off. Diamonds um, getting a really nice pop up this morning. We're looking at more than a hundred point gap up. Even though earnings are not coming out so good, we've got all kinds of energy here this morning just wanting to catch a little bit of relief. So this morning we're looking to gap up into this level right up here. Keep in mind we still have lots and lots of tech technical damage to deal with here on these charts. And remember that um, 260 level here in the diamonds, 26,000 on the Dow will likely serve as a significant level of resistance and we'll want to keep an eye on that. Also remember, we are still well under our 50 day moving average and we have some issues to deal with that as well. Um, this technical damage won't be resolved likely very quickly. And remember, even though we're rallying up, reports coming out um, overnight would suggest that China has hardened their position on the trade war. And th what created this sell off is likely not to go away very soon. As a matter of fact, it would appear that we're getting farther apart now as um, uh, those negotiations have completely stalled and um, there's suggestions that it may get worse before it gets better. So kind of think about that. Even though we're getting this bullish move this morning, the market is just wanting to be positive this morning based on this change in the technology ban. But please keep in mind, we still have these resistance levels above. So watch it as we move up there. Certainly okay to trade long, but you want to be very, very careful. And one of the things that we're experiencing, if you guys um, have been um, paying attention, is almost daily we're getting these massive overnight swings, uh, making it very, very challenging. So if you're frustrated, if you've been challenged by this, um, please understand you're not alone. These big whippy gaps and, and reversals overnight or challenging anyone um, except those that might be doing that really quick intraday trading and they close up uh, close all their their positions and they're avoiding that overnight risk so keep that in mind um, you're not the only one that's finding this very challenging and there's very little edge that we can hold as a swing trader in this kind of an environment because of those big daily gaps and swings um, driven by news and events, uh, mostly political news and events, uh, and that creates that massive uncertainty that we're having to deal with right now. Let's take a look at um, the uh, SPY real quick. SPY also getting a nice little rally back this morning, um, pushing back up here toward these highs right in here, that resistance level. Let's keep in mind that anywhere in between here and here, there's going to be some price resistance in that chart. And that happens to correspond with that 50 day moving average. Any, any rally up into that 50 could provide that resistance area. Notice that we have this zone up here of multiple moving averages in this area providing that resistance. So it's going to provide, we're going to need some kind of catalyst, something, uh, something strong, I think, to move us through there and actually break back higher, particularly in the light that this trade war is going to go on much longer than uh, I think anyone had hoped initially. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues looking pretty darn weak here yesterday, just really getting slammed hard. But this morning they're getting a nice gap up. relieving some of that pressure 
based on uh, that tech ban, um, they placed a 90 day uh, grace period in there where businesses can shop around and start looking for um, other alternatives before they shut the door um, on that hallways uh, issues and that blacklisting of hallways. So um, pretty pretty substantial gap up but please notice there's a lot of technical damage here that needs to be uh worked through i think uh, the the line for me we're not going to be built bullish in the nasdaq until we can cross and hold above that level and even um if that were to occur please keep in mind that 50-day moving average is right there and um providing uh some resistance in that chart so watch that pretty closely let's take a look at iwm iwm has just been the weakest of the indexes and although it's gapping up this morning i don't see any recovery here um, in iwm just yet and if we take a look at these resistance levels pretty substantial resistance levels that we are still beneath here in iwm and um, this rally back up giving us a little bit of relief is nice no doubt about it but I think we're gonna have to break back through this area and prove that we can hold it before we really start to repair some of that technical damage in uh, this index and so let's take a look at at this chart we have all of our moving averages the 50 the 200 the 34 the 20 the 8 exponential all lining up in here providing that resistance area there's a lot of technical damage here in iwm and i doubt that that's going to be repaired very easily uh, particularly in the light that uh, trade negotiations are not moving forward at this point let's take a look at the vix VIX did a great job yesterday of just hanging right here. We had some fear, obviously, creep into the market there for a little bit, but we ended up pulling back on that by the end of the day. And you can see just kind of camping out right here on this level of support. Now, this morning, this gap up open should send us back down below this level. That's a nice thing to see. We want to see some of that fear dropping out of the market. I got to be honest with you. I don't understand how that fear could be dropping out of the market just simply because nothing has changed. But that doesn't matter. What I feel and what I think doesn't matter. What matters is what price action is doing and if price action is going to move us back down here and fear is going to diminish away we definitely have the potential to rally substantially in the market so let that fear diminish that's okay i just have to trade the chart that i see not what i understand in this price action if we do happen to see sellers come on though and we see that rally in there this is where we really get worried about some fast selling in the market so watch that closely Let's take a look at T2122. Now, T2122 at the end of the day was probably one of the best indicators of suggesting that we needed some kind of a bounce. We were back down here in this bearish, or excuse me, bullish reversal zone and um, was giving us that clue. Now, we still have more opportunity that we could move down. We, you can see we've come all the way down into these levels many times before and could continue to do that but we have also seen here recently where we're catching that bounce just a little bit sooner um, off of this level so that bounce back up nice that'll be nice today to have a little bit of relief in the market so um, um, we'll have to watch this by the end of the day and see how much that recovery um, has um, has provided if we bounce up into this mid area just remember that's the, all that does is open the door for that potential that we could go both directions so let's watch that close today hopefully um, hopefully we get a substantial move um, in the market hopefully we get uh, those bulls really stepping up to support this I gotta be honest with you I find that hard to believe um, with the current situation but hey anything is possible so just watch that closely let's take a look at our economic calendar for today if we uh, peer into the economic calendar we do have a potential stumbling block today but housing markets have been very very strong so this could be um, an actual catalyst to help us move the market even higher 
and that is existing home sales here at uh, 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern, so you want to keep an eye on that. Remember, we have this parade of speakers, uh, Fed speakers, continuing uh, to move through uh, the market as we head toward these FOMC minutes uh, coming up on Wednesday. Please keep in mind that markets can oftentimes just get really stale and stagnant. So after the morning pop, be careful chasing this morning pop just in case we see a pop and drop type pattern. But um, those housing numbers that come out of 10 could actually help inspire the market a little bit higher. So let's watch that closely if that number does happen to come in good. But then look for the market to maybe just kind of dry up. A lot of choppiness, a lot of back and forth, a lot of um, uh, light volume uh, trading as we um, start our waiting process for those FOMC minutes. We'll have to... Um, get through that and um, see how things go at that point. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. We have um, almost 80 companies reporting earnings today, a lot of retail this morning. Unfortunately, we're not getting the best results from that. If we take a look at Home Depot, Home Depot reported early this morning. You can see Home Depot is now slipping. They reported actually good, strong earnings, but they reported that their same store sales were declining and some issues there with um, this weather season that we've had, just a very wet and nasty spring season making uh, sales diminish here just a little bit so home depot not doing the best here this morning uh falling a little bit lower kohl's also reporting this morning big retail push in the earnings today they are getting clubbed this morning with a major decline in kohl's um not looking so good jc penny reporting today they are also moving lower as retail starting to really really struggle here um so that could be a clue for us and just keep in mind that we're getting a lot of those reports right now that we're not seeing we're not getting that love in the market so everything that uh, this pop-up this morning is totally based on this little relief that we're getting in uh, that 90-day extension and it may be short-lived so we'll be very very careful um, as these earnings continue to show some real stress uh, particularly in that retail sector let's take a look um, at um, well wait before we take a look at some of the stocks that could be setting up uh, um, and and adding to the list let me just take just a moment to say thank you to everyone who takes the time to uh, click that thumbs up button and leave a comment you guys are just awesome I truly truly appreciate it the growth that we have seen in um, this channel you know this is not a subject that um, or a, a genre of videos that typically garners a lot of of attention and it's been slow and steady growth but you guys have just been awesome and and you continuing to leave those comments um continuing to um uh uh, click those thumbs up buttons helps a ton. Thank you so much. Um, I, I didn't get a chance to answer those um, responses yesterday. I apologize. Things are just kind of crazy around here for me right now. But um, um, I will get back to answering those. And I thank you so much for those who do that. I appreciate it a ton. You guys are the best. Um, so also feel free to share this video with any friends and family. Um, share it on Facebook or Twitter. It's open for anyone. And um, the whole purpose of this channel is to help traders do a little bit better job with their trading. And the purpose of these morning videos is to help everyone do a little bit better job with their preparation for the day, thinking about all the different aspects and avoiding the emotion of rushing and chasing into the market. Let's think about all the things that could affect the market today and how we should approach the market with a logical thought um, rather than basing our trading on emotion and news reports and things like that. So let's take a look at some of the stocks that could be setting up that are looking just pretty darn good and have been holding up very, very well. Now, a lot of them uh, tend to be these consumer um, um, 
defensive stocks, uh, stocks that uh, uh, folks run to uh, when the market becomes a little bit shaky. So for example, take a look at MDLZ. Whoops. MDLZ, I have to be able to type. MDLZ still holding up well, beautiful trend in MDLZ. And um, holding up very, very strong, looking very good. I think there may be another opportunity coming here in MDLZ before too long. So it's worth keeping an eye on and watching um, as this continues to set up. These are all time highs in MDLZ. And so blue sky above, anything is possible. Stay with the trend. Let the trend be your friend and just wait for the next entry into that trade. Take a look at Roku. Roku could be setting up for some upside move. Now Roku um, pulled back a little bit yesterday but recovered nicely. Now I would expect Roku could continue to move sideways toward this trend, but we can also have uh, that occurrence where the stock changes the trajectory of its trend. And any time in here, we could get at that buy signal that moves us higher in the stock. Now, keep in mind that we've got blue sky above here in Roku, and we could really move strongly if we start heading up. So watch Roku closely. Could be a really good chart to pay attention to. Let's take a look at um, a different kind of stock. This is called, um, a rounded bottom breakout pattern. Notice that we've broken our longer term downtrend here on CNC, holding above a significant level of support. So we've rallied up, holding up there, and we're moving over toward our trend. It might be a good idea to keep an eye on CNC. And here's that rounded bottom breakout pattern looking at the moving averages. We're starting to get that um, nice little um, moving average convergence coming into play right in here and if those buyers can begin to step up this can move right on up and we could see uh, us tagging these levels up in here um, in in a relatively quick period of time so kind of keep an eye on that cnc showing good signs in that round of bottom breakout and a great pattern to trade as a matter of fact i find the round of bottom breakout to be one of the most consistently profitable patterns um, I trade and it looks really really good keep a look uh, keep an eye on Disney Disney is one that I want to get into um, after their announcement of their streaming service and they moved up very very sharply very strong and now they've pulled back kind of consolidating here getting a little light rest yesterday I want to watch this fairly closely. If this can hold on to this trend right here, I want to see if I can catch an entry into this trade uh, for Disney. Just keep an eye on that chart. Pretty nice potential um, in that trade, in my opinion. Um, I could be wrong, um, obviously. And please, let me, let me stress that, that all of these charts that I show you in here are just ideas um, based on technical patterns and, and things like that. Every one of these charts must be evaluated. These are not a recommendation to buy, sell, or anything on these trades. Let's take a look at Ford. Ford, although it went through um, uh, made some announcements that they're going to do some layoffs and part of their restructuring. Ford has a really nice pattern here, breaking above these resistance levels and holding in here nice and tight on that consolidation. So we want to watch this in here. I, this, this trend line here, I don't know if we have a chance of changing this trajectory of this trend and popping out of here, or if we're actually going to move and consolidate um, all the way back toward the main trend and that is certainly possible but anytime a company um, reduces its workforce that usually means more value in the company um, shares and so we could see um, this begin to rally up out of here might want to keep an eye on Ford um, take a look at stocks uh, defensive stocks like coca-cola um, KO holding up quite well yesterday in a, in this pull uh, pullback. It's moved up very very sharply, looking really good. Any kind of consolidation or rest that moves over toward this trend could set up that opportunity for more upside in the trade. And you could take that and just go right on through to the other soda companies. Um, PepsiCo looking very good. 
PepsiCo didn't even flinch really yesterday in this move higher. PepsiCo looking very, very good. Any kind of a rest or consolidation over here toward this trend could certainly uh, bode well for the stock. So watch it closely if that starts to uh, back up or consolidate in here for the next opportunity in that trade. So great charts in a lot of different places. I want to also bring up... Um, um, XLU. XLU um, is an ETF, but XLU tried to break out yesterday. Those utilities are a place that people go in, in times of market uncertainty. So you might want to take a look at, at the stocks that make up XLU and see what's moving in there. There may be some opportunity in those trades. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And thank you to everyone who takes the time to click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. I truly appreciate it. Everyone take care of yourself. If you're struggling as a trader, if you're finding this market to be very, very frustrating, please understand you're not alone. Protect your capital. Wait for your edge to return. Remember, we don't have to fight the market. We want to protect our capital. We want to work with the market. And so give the market some time to settle down. Our edge will return. Um, um, if we're patient and wait for that. Everyone take care. I wish you all the best and we'll talk to you bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.